Hey guys, I'm back. Last time we finished on question 12, now we're going to start on question 13. PQRS and PLMN are similar quadrilaterals. PN equals 12, NS equals 8, PL equals 9, and RS equals 13.5. LM is parallel to QR and MN is parallel to RS. Work out the length of MN. Okay, that might have sounded like, sound like a lot to take in, but let's just break it down. So first of all, we need the scale factor, and how we find the scale factor is we find two sides that we're given both the uh, measurements for. So uh, currently we have 12 and 8. So now the small side is 12 centimeters, okay, while the big side is 20 centimeters or 12 plus 8 centimeters. So if we put that, if, uh, so our scale factor is um, 0 0.6 um yeah uh now now that we have a scale factor we need to find mn mn so um the similar size to mn is rs correct and we want to make rs smaller so we must multiply 13.5 by 0 0.6 13.5 times 0 0.6 equals Eight point one. Okay, answer our first question. So, second question: Work out the length of LQ. Now, LQ. We need this length. So we have the similar side, which is nine. And uh, since it's the shorter side, and we want the longer side, we have to divide nine by zero point six. So nine over zero point six equals fifteen. Now that's not our answer yet, since we only need LQ. So our answer would be 15 subtracted by nine, which will give us six. Okay. Um, the area of PLMN is A. The area of PQRS is KA. Find the value of K. Now, the area of PLMN, so the smaller one is A. And the area of PQRS is K A. So we can't use zero point six for this equation, since um, since it's asking for uh, K um, in respect to the bigger one. So what we need to do is we need to do twenty uh, twenty over twelve, which would give us. Um, 1.6 recurring and with that 1.6 recurring um, with that 1.6 recurring what we, uh, since it's asking for area we have to square that so 1.6 recurring squared equals 2.7 recurring and that's K okay so um, the area of the shaded region is 105.6 work out the value of A so as we know, 2.7 recurring A or minus A equals 105.6 because 2.7 recurring A is K. 2.7 recurring is K. So KA minus A is the shaded region, which is 105.6. So this is this is the same as saying 1.7 recurring A equals 105.6. So A equals 105.6 over 1.7 recurring, which gives us 59.4. Question 14. V is inversely proportional to the square of T. When uh, V equals 28, uh, T equals 2.5. Uh, express V in terms of T. Okay, so V is inversely proportional to the square of t okay so v is proportional to 1 over t squared which is the same as saying v equals k over t squared okay so 28 equals k over 2.5 squared and what this question is asking us to do is find k and then substitute it into this formula so, 
28 multiplied by 2.5 squared equals k. k equals... One hundred seventy-five, so v equals one hundred seventy-five over t squared. One hundred seventy-five t squared. Okay. Um, work out the value of v when t is six point two five. So v equals one seventy-five over six point two five squared, which equals. 4.48 Okay, so complete the table of values for y equals x cubed minus 3x plus 5 um, All you have to do is substitute in the values for x so um, 2 cubed minus 3 um, 2 squared uh, plus 5 is equal to 1 and then the same 3 cubed minus 3 3 squared plus 5 is equal to 5 um, so 4 cubed minus 3 4 squared plus 5 is equal to 21 and then for the next question, all you have to do is plot these points. As you can see, the first until one is plotted for us. So all we have to do is plot in the value of two, which is one. So find one and match it with two, and that's our point. Um, three, the value of three is five. So three, two, five. And the value of four is 21. 21 okay so then all you have to do is sketch the graph i find it easier to scratch sketch the graph like this it's just my pr preference the graph should look something like this okay so next question Use the graph to find an estimate for the solution for of the equation x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5 equals 0. Basically, what it's asking you is to find x when y is 0. So let's just pull out the graph really quick. Um, when, x, when y is 0, x is here, so x is minus 1.1. So that's the answer. Minus... Minus... 1.1 next question is by drawing a suitable straight line on the grid find an estimate for the solution of the equation x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0 again really simple all you have to do is get the original equation x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5 or sorry to make it simpler let's just do plus 0x plus 5 equals 0 I'll explain why I put the 0x in a second. And now the new equation, x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. Now the reason I put the 0x is so that we can, uh, we, uh, so the 2x fits in. All we have to do is subtract this equation. So we just reverse all the signs. So it's minus x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x minus 4 so x cubed minus x cubed is 0 um, minus 3x squared plus 3x squared is 0 plus 0x minus 2x is minus 2x plus four, uh, 5 minus 4 is plus 1 so this is the straight line we have to draw 1 minus 2x okay so let's just get the raw out again Now I have already plotted two points to because that's all you need for a straight line. So let me just draw the line. And now where it crosses when it crosses the um, original line, that's where I need and that's minus 0 0.8.
minus 0 0.8. Next no. question. When a fair dice is thrown, the probability of scoring 6 is 1 over 6. Aaron throws 4 fair die dice. Work out the probability that he scores a 6 at least 1 of the 4. Uh, that he scores 6 with at least 1 of the 4 dice. Simple. All it is asking is if this dice has a 4, this dice has a 4, this dice has a 4, or this dice has a 4. So, since it's asking us or, what you do with or is you add the probabilities. So, 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 gives us 4 over 6. That's his probability, which can be simplified to 2 over 3. 2 over 3. Okay, question 17. J, K, L, and M are points on the circumference of a circle. G, J, H uh, is the tangent. G, J, H is the tangent to the circle. M, K, M, K, and J, L intersect at point P. G, M, L is a straight line. Angle H, J, K is 62, angle J, K, M is 21, and angle J, G, L is 78. Write down the size of angle M, L, J. Angle M, L, J. We need this angle. Okay, this is, so there's a theorem that states if uh, angles that hit the circumference from the same uh, from the same points on the arc are equal. So MKJ, okay, and MLJ would be equal uh, because they start and end at the same point and they hit the circumference. So angle MLJ is 21 degrees. Next question. Write down the size of angle JLK. J L K. This angle over here. Again, quite simple. Um, uh, this is uh, the alternate alternating segment theorem, where um, this sixty-two branches off here and branches off here. Now, the angle that they make when they cross each other. So this one is equal to this angle, 62 degrees. Last question, work out the size of angle K, P, L. So this angle over here. All you have to do is to work out K, P, L, since we know that this is 78 and this is 21, um, and angles in a triangle add up to 180. That leaves this angle as 81 in this triangle, right? So with this angle, and since this is a straight line, we can work out this angle. So, um, that angle would be 37, so thanks to the 62. Now, again, angles in a triangle added to 180. So therefore, this triangle, we can work out this angle, um, which is um, 122. And since this is a straight line, this is only 180 minus 122, which is 58. And that's the answer, 58. Okay, that'll be all for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and hope, you, hope to see you soon. Make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm out.